Hey guys, it's Dr. Missy with the Dingy Beach Monkey Sanctuary, and we are here tonight with our first big fundraiser since we officially opened as a sanctuary in August. Hey guys, I've been talking about this for so long, and it is a dream come true with all the help of the beautiful people you see here tonight, so we appreciate your support. Please go to our website, dingybeachmonkeys.com. Please support us. I gotta go. I could get a little, give a little spiel about what was happening tonight, but thanks for joining us. Take it all. It's great. I take it all. It's fine. It's not a bad thing. I, I will answer your crazy monkey name. So. But thank you guys so much for coming out tonight. It really means a lot. And it is a passion, as you can see, with all the people involved. The committee, uh, our board members, and my husband, who's been volunteered to participate. But he's really had to put up with this since I uh, started my dissertation. So the whole story is how I found these monkeys is I was doing a PhD at FAU, and I didn't know about them. I'm not from Florida, I'm from California, so I didn't know that Florida is home to many crazy exotics running around. I had no clue. Um, and I was actually going to go to Tanzania to do some research on monkeys there. That was like a dream, right? Who doesn't want to go to Tanzania and do research for a doctor? And a woman who lived in Miami, she was a native. She said, Missy, there's monkeys by the airport. That is crazy. Why would monkeys be by the airport? That is, this makes sense, right? And I thought, well, maybe people do a lot of misreporting, right? They'll see a raccoon, but then maybe they saw a, a monkey. That's what I was thinking. And so I went home and I Googled monkeys, and luckily a, a tourist who would love to have in Florida posted a video of the monkey on, um, on YouTube and gave the name of the business. So I called the business, and I said, do you have monkeys? And she said, yes. And she went, this is crazy. So I went down to the business. And she said, go stand in the back row and wait for them. They'll come out of the trees. And I thought, this is crazy. It must be like a joke. I don't know what's going on. And sure enough, the monkeys came out. And I was close. It was just very unusual to interact with wildlife, such as monkeys, that were behind an enclosure, like in a zoo. That's really the only place that I've ever seen monkeys like that. And uh, I started doing my research. But what I found out with them being a non-native species, they were privy to any welfare protection. So, for example, if an animal was hit by a car and needed vet care, we couldn't legally help the animal. We could euthanize it, get someone to treat it, but we couldn't release it back into the wild. We had to find someone to take it. And typically, the people with class of permits, which is what you need to be in possession of those animals, are pet dealers. And I don't think that primates make good pets, and that just didn't sit right with me. Um, and also, they're used in the labs quite frequently. People love to use them because they are typically disease-free and they're easy to handle. So I thought all those options were absolutely hard. So I started doing a lot of work and trying to figure out the best way that I could help. And Fish and Wildlife, they said, we'll never naturalize them. There's nothing, we're not going to, we're not going to fight. We're not going to do anything that would, would be perceived to help a non human species. And so really the only thing that was reasonable enough that I could do uh, within the limits of the law was to open a sanctuary. And that was a whole project in of itself. It took I don't know, maybe three years to get access to lease the land, and that was a process. Um, and then once we had the land, we had to generate enough funds to get our first male, whose name is Spock, and he was incidentally trapped 2019 as a nuisance because he was being fed, and the business owner didn't like the monkey showing up. I told the easiest thing would have been just not to feed him, he won't come back. But they trapped him, and once the animal's trapped, it's either euthanasia or to go to those places that I described. In pet, uh, a pet trade or uh, a lab facility. And he did get placed with an exotic tech dealer, and I just got lucky to find out who he was, and I reached out to him, and he said, Missy, when you get your permit, I'll give it back to you. So that really kind of put a light in my pants, or whatever that phrase is, right? And uh, so that's what I, I did it. So it took a long time, we got the permit, and we finally got Spock back in August. And we're very happy to have him back. He's in a much larger enclosure. He's able to interact with the monkeys that live there. So we're really happy about that. And then we got a surprise about a month ago. We had a young infant electrocuted. That happens out here. And we had to amputate her leg. So we rehabbed her, and she's on site now. And these animals live 20 to 25 years. So she is our responsibility for the next 20 to 25 years with her being so young. So we are looking to uh, build an enclosure that is designed especially for her. She's too young to house with the male right now. He's a little gregarious for her, and she's a bit intimidated. He's very active, 
and she's very petite and delicate. So we don't think it would be a good way to a good match right now, but maybe later on in the future. But right now we're generating funds for a habitat for her. And then we want to have more available because if I get a call tomorrow, Fish and Wildlife says, hey, we confiscated a legal animal, or we have one of your animals that was trapped as a nuisance, can you take him? I'd have to say no because I don't have the space right now. And so what we really need to do is gener generate enough funds to build more habitats. So when that phone call comes in, we can help them. And that's what we're here doing tonight is to really reach out and let you folks know this is what goes on behind the scenes. And a lot of people really aren't aware of about their non-native status and what they are allowed to do or what we can and can't do for that. So thank you guys for coming tonight. So. To uh, protect these monkeys over here, she's pretty wild. I mean, we're you can hear planes going by overhead. We're right in the city, and then there's this population of vermin monkeys. Hey guys, Rick with SeeMyBeach.com, and we're here tonight at Renaissance on the Ocean. We're here for tell everybody what we're here for. Laura, all right, let me tell you who Laura is, man. All right, she's like all dressed nice and everything. I see Laura very different than this most of the time. She'll be like in the monkey enclosure and all kinds of stuff yeah, with her. I'm wearing my camo and my green. Cam but she still brings it, okay? Yes. You, you still bring it respectfully. So anyway, tell everybody what we're here for, Laura. Uh, today we are here for a, Talk loud. a fundraiser for the Monkey Sanctuary here in Dania Beach. Uh, if you haven't checked out our website, it's daniabeachmonkeys.com. Uh, we've got some really neat ways to donate if you click on ways to help on the home page. And I'm also here today with a colleague of mine. Her name is Joanna. Joanna, what's up? She is on the Dania Beach Historical Society and Museum uh, board with me. Nice. Well, let me translate what she said. That was hello. She said hello. Anyway, so how are you? I was already telling her. reason why the Historical Society is here today. Yeah? Awesome. Thank you, Laura. I'm Joanna Grinette. I'm the president of the Denny Beach Historical Society. And I'm here today. Laura invited me. We definitely want to work together um, in the with the Historical Society and the Dania Beach Monkeys, so we're really excited. Because it's part of you guys' history. Absolutely. Well, she's the president, so I'm not going to talk to you anymore. <laughs> I don't talk to the... She's the vice president. Oh. <laughs> All right, you're, you're next best thing, we'll, so we'll keep you in it. Anyway, well, thank you guys for being part of this, okay? And, uh, you know, and coming here to try to promote this great event. And Laura's, Laura's always been part of the things we do because she's awesome for uh, probably five years now, I would say, either five, six years yes. doing videos for SeeMyBeach.com. I feel like I've gotten a lot more comfortable on the camera. Yeah, you have. Well, I was just telling Missy, part of that's because we used to drink before we would go to the park. <laughs> we, we would have, a, you know, something to lighten it up on the way there. So that would always make it a lot more fun. Anyway, thank you guys. And uh, we're going to end this with the, what I do every interview with, and it's a handshake of the 21st century. The fist bump. There you go. Fist that's bump. a three-way fist bump. Yeah. I think that's my first. <laughs> All right, take care. I had a joke for that, but I'm going to keep it to myself. Y'all take care, guys. Talk to you later right here. Renaissance on the Ocean, SeeMyBeach.com. All right, guys, we're still at the event here at the, uh, I can't think of the name of the place because I've had a bunch of wine, but we're at a play Renaissance. There we go. All right, tell everybody who you are, young man. Steven, this is Mary. Hey, I was going to ask Mary who she was, but Steven took over. Okay, it's all right. It's all right. We got to have a man in the crowd. Anyway, Steven, tell me what you, what you thought about tonight's event. It's pretty cool, I think huh? They have a really good idea of what they want to conceptualize and build. And I, I'm very interested in helping out and doing that. Nice. I think they presented it very well as well. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to the next steps here. I give my information out to many people. Yeah. <laughs> so, right? So, yeah. Well, the video was all the highlight, right? Oh, of course. Just because I did the video. Of course. <laughs> that was, I mean, that's what stood out amongst everything. What Missy was saying, I mean, that was only so important. Tell me what you thought about it tonight. So, I, I thought the event was great. I am um, born and raised here in Hollywood. I grew up um, learning and about the monkeys and knowing that we had these monkeys here. And um, the fact that there are people out there that are um, putting together events like this to raise awareness on what we can do to help them, I think is wonderful. And I'm happy to be a part of it. And that was so eloquent. Oh, you, you were kind of shaky on yours, man. Well, yeah. But she just brought it. She, she didn't even think about it, man. <laughs> she did not even have to think about it. She should be introducing you, dog, not you introducing her. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank y'all for being part of it. This is a great thing, Dania Beach Monkey Project. Go to DaniaBeachMonkeys.com. Click on where it says ways to help and give money. My ex-wife even donated today. I told her to go look at the site and tell me what she thought, and she did made a $100 donation on there. Really? I, have, yeah. I have great ex-wives, but they're all ex-wives. So. <laughs> anyway. Personal opinion or not, <laughs> exactly. All right, guys, we're gonna end the, end the end this the way we have, I've entered every video we've done 
since 2004. The fist bump of the 21st century, I mean the handshake of the 21st century. Yeah. When I drink a lot of wine, I get that wrong. You guys take care. Thank you for being part of our video. It'll be on YouTube, SeeMyBeach.com, Dania Beach Project, and all that places, okay? Take care, everybody. That was a dog in the background. I asked for some noise. I asked for some noise, man. It was, the timing was perfect. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you were four seconds off, that wouldn't have fit. All right, guys, y'all take care. We'll see you next time, okay? Bye-bye. Thank you, guys. All right, the crowd's going away here, Laura, man. It's just us, me, you. Oh, wow. <laughs> <Her. laughs> and these guys that are joining the, 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 the place here, how are you guys doing today? We're doing good. Good. What's your name, sir? Carlos. How? Carlos. Carlos. And I'm Joanna. Nice to meet you guys, okay? Nice you. I am Rick. This is Laura, and this is... We're Joanna. <laughs> jo we, sh we should have had the same name to keep it simple, man. Okay? Anyway, Laura, tell everybody what we're here for. What's up? Uh, we are here raising funds for the Dania Beach Monkey Sanctuary. Uh, if you haven't seen the website already, it's DaniaBeachMonkeys.com. A uh, lot of cool ways to get involved there. And Frozen has joined us today to, uh, I saved room for dessert, so that's why I'm and it, here. Gotcha. <laughs> and, it, and tell everybody the name. How do you say, say the name? Frozen. Frozen is fruit. And frozen, like frozen. Fruit and frozen, frozen combined. Frozen. All right, all the good stuff, all in one. All right, so everybody, uh, tell her what you guys want. I am going for the island kiwi. She sold me on this one. Oh, that looks good. Yes. All right, yes. what about you? I definitely am going to try the soursop delight. Oh. All right. The what? Soursop delight. Soursop delight. <laughs> okay. We're going to have that if you don't mind. Okay, so we can ready. Okay. So we get a little machine here happening. Come about. Can you just think of the different ideas of like the different fruits and trying to put them in and so that when we cut them, it stays through? So you basically make a giant popsicle and then shave it? Yes. Okay. Get something cool. healthier because I love acai bowls and then I thought, well, you know, it's so nice to be able to offer different flavors mm -hmm. for us aside from mm, just the acai nice bowls so and the dragon fruit. Which smell is the vision. Smell it. <laughs> we wish you could smell this. Mm -hmm. Like, I just broke open a fresh kiwi. <laughs> um, she's putting a bunch of fruit on it or something. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow, I didn't even... Oh, yes. Did you want some coconut? No, a little bit of coconut would be great. So, apparently, this is the small. It's the small? This is the small, not the large. It's not the large. This is, this is actually our donation one, our donation size. Then we have a small that we offer at some of the festivals because they require us to offer a small, and then we have a, a large uh, bowl as well. And all the is, all the Americans get the big large one, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm not like most Americans. You can't tell, but I'm like skinny and sexy on the other side, right? Am I right? Absolutely. Just a picture picture of sexiness. I can say that since they can't see me. Anyway, so all right. So let's get a close you? up on how this looks. Whoa. This is awesome. I'm going to go off camera a minute and get a picture of this. This is so pretty. Hold on one second. We'll be right back. Time out. Do the time out symbol for me. Okay. Got it. <laughs> so this, so what is this? This is sour sauce. Sour sauce. Okay. All right. Looks yummy. And that is um, a very popular fruit in Colombia. Oh. And, and it's got them very, very good for you yeah, as well. And it's very, very yeah. good for you. It's anti-inflammatory. It has some really good... Uh, it's one of the most nutritious things for you. So how is it, Laura? It's delicious. And it looks so good. So you get these nice little thin shavings. Right. And then it's topped with shaved coconut, some fresh berries, some granola. These guys might be onto something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y'all might have a pretty cool idea here. There's a large was available. <laughs> <laughs> you can find us in Parkland. Um, okay. we'll, we're going to start there November 6th. Okay. Tell us where. Tell us where. In Parkland. What is Parkland? Parkland uh, Farmer's Market. Oh, okay. What, what town is that in? That's in Parkland. Oh, there is a Parkland. There's a Parkland. There I didn't, Parkland. I've never heard of, I've been here a long time, never heard of Parkland. It is the opposite is end of the county from here. We do yeah. make like we're in the southeast section, Parkland is in the northwest corner of wow. Broward County. How did I even know about Parkland? <laughs> oh, is that where the shooting thing happened? Yeah. Oh my God. I guess I just like delete, delete, delete. I didn't, yeah. I, I never even associated all that. That you know, I just, <laughs> how on top of stuff I am, I just recently found out that happened in Florida. So, anyway. Mm, all right, around. very good. Absolutely. Guys, that was, uh, this is awesome. I think y'all really have a really cool concept here. How, how did y'all come up with it? Well, you know what, there 
was I was in New York and there was a, a young couple that, that was doing this as well but they did it with like regular fruit they were very limited we wanted to take it a little step more and to offer more exotic fruits fruits from South America um, mix it up a little bit more than just your tang your mango and your pineapple and your banana and the acai so gotcha. um, that's what we decided to do and because we love that I lived in Hawaii and I love the shaved ice a lot so mm -hmm. we thought okay let's do it that's a little different than just the water and pouring all these artificial things let's make it vegan let's make it a little bit more healthier and um, in Florida you can do it all year round so yeah why that's not? very cool about being here yes. exactly and you're also a volunteer for the monkey project right yes, I am. Exactly. it's pretty amazing do you do that also yeah oh. well he comes and he sits in the car <laughs> And my brother's trying to take all credit. Heck yeah. Yeah, I go. She goes. She comes. She comes. She comes with me. He's trying to take all the credit, man. I respect that. I respect that. But he comes with, and they stay in the car. And I'm like, but you don't want to play with the monkeys. But and I, when I go, when I go visit the monkeys, I'm just like a ninja, like full on sweatshirt, hood, and then I cover myself with the bug spray like, on my clothes. This way, I'm not putting it on my skin and. If I have one little piece of skin exposed, that's where they get there. Yep. You know, the first time I went out there, I went out with, I think it was the time when you were with me. I, I, you were with me. I had on just regular shoes, sneakers on, and shorts. Oh, that's what Yes. I was scared to death when I went out there. Bugs everywhere, spiders, you know my fear of spiders. Walk with a stick in front of you. Legendary. Anyway, you guys take care. Thank you so Y'all are doing a really, okay. really cool it's thing here. I appreciate it. Very, it's very important, you know, that produce is very, very healthy. You know, it's, it's not as far away. Natural sugars, yes. Natural sugar, you know, the only the fruit. It's not using the water. It's not really a sugar inside that. Everything is natural. That's very awesome. Healthy. Very, very healthy. Yeah. I've been a vegetarian for 34 years, so eating right and all that kind of stuff. I have a big belly people can't see, but I have it because of alcohol. Okay. Because, you know, everywhere, everywhere I go, you know, it's our customers and it's like, you want to, I go to, I was at Lenore, Lenore Nolan Ryan's the other day, which is one of our customers, new customer, you need to come check out. It's a wine shop and she's a celebrity chef. And when I walk in, they just bring me alcohol and I just stay longer than I should. And it appears, and it appears later on my belly. So anyway, but, um, Maybe you could put a shot of Bacardi in there, or you know, rum, you know, dark rum. When we, when we do our private parties, we can add a little bit of that one. You, and you sh and not only should you, can you, but you should do that. That's a good thing. More alcohol is more better. Thank you, guys. We're here at the Renaissance on the Ocean. We're about to cut out here. You guys, thank you for donating this stuff also. That's awesome. You know, everybody should donate their time to, to nonprofits. And we have our own nonprofit called helpin.litter.org, the acronym for HEAL. And our company, See My Beach, funds it fully so people don't have to donate to us. Most of them can't do that, but ours uh, is with a uh, uh, was started by a 14 year old girl and myself, who she used to work, has worked with us since she was 10 years old as our host of Kid Zone, and uh, we decided to do this. So it's about children learning how to empower themselves to go clean litter, and they get in teams, and we give them all the tools they need to go clean litter because litter is just an insane problem. So, so thank you guys for what you do. You. You'll have to come out to one of our cleanups sometime. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we can start at the monkey sanctuary. Yeah, because she, she, that place Yes. Is We're going to get you in some boots and get you oh, out yeah, there. <laughs> We're going to get you deep into Let's it. I, I got it on camera. You said, let's go do it. <laughs> I got it. Uh, yeah. My first pair of boots I got for the monkey project. Uh, I'm from New Orleans. We don't have boots. Okay. <laughs> we make fun of people who have boots. So anyway, but these are the boots you go into the water with. You guys think, huh? I, live, I, I really don't live anywhere. I just kind of travel around with work most of the time, but I do have a place that I stay here most of the time. And it's in, uh, it's called Fort Lauderdale, but it's in Dania Beach. Okay. Fort, Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale trying to get that tax money. Yeah. But, uh, but if you hit with Google, Google tells you it's in Dania Beach. Oh. Yeah, so anyway, I've been here longer than I've been anywhere else. My job, I'm supposed to travel, but I've had friends like Laura, so I don't want to go anywhere. No, it's the best place ever. Yeah, That's right. It really is. It is. It's a cool place. It's a cool place with cool people. And now that we have monkeys, it makes it so much better. So much better. All right, we're going to end this comment. We're going to end this the way I've ended every video for all these years. You know it's coming, Laura. And it's called The Handshake of the 21st Century. Okay. Thank you. And I did this way before COVID, okay? Take care, guys. Laura, give me some, honey. All right, guys. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Just, just talk to me. I don't care what you say. Just talk. You can cuss. I just want to hear it. Come on.
And now I'm, I'm gobsmacked. Gobsmacked. <laughs> oh my, she put a clever word up in it too. Look at that. I mean, she brought it like in multiple ways. Take care, everybody. Bye, Missy. Bye, Rick. Thanks for coming. And bye, whatever your name is. Marcy. I know your name. I'm just bye. picking. Thank and this, you, Rick. Absolutely. And this young lady over here. And nice don't seeing you. To <laughs> <laughs> Thank I, you. Yeah, I'm, I'm donated out. Yes, but, I know. But I, I love donating to this, and it's awesome. So, anyway, take care, everybody. Bye bye. Bye, Laura.
Hey guys, so today we're here in Dania Beach hanging out with some wild monkeys. This is nuts. So if you look right next to me, there's actually a snapping turtle, <laughs> literally right next to me. There's a raccoon, right over there, there's two raccoons. And then back here, there's a whole bunch of wild vervet monkeys. And so this is a wild population of monkeys that have been existing here in this area in Dania Beach for several decades. This is totally crazy like I just got back from Africa and while I was there I saw vervet monkeys in Botswana and then we come home to Florida and then boom there's vervet monkeys here too and in fact I've seen these monkeys before I've actually come looking for them independently on my own and I got lucky enough after a couple visits to see them once or twice but then now I mean I've never seen them this close Look at that, that's incredible. And so they're actually uh, doing research on these guys, checking them out and trying to uh, protect these monkeys over here. Which is pretty wild. I mean, we're, you can hear planes going by overhead. We're right in the city. And then there's this population of vervet monkeys. A little deep, but if you just, you can come over here if you want to stick right with me, okay? Keep the right with you, Yeah, yeah, nothing you'll ever know, so. If you want, you can come over here to the dry spot. 